I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, team, is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a video about the Lucian because someone had told me that it is actually pretty good for clan battles, if not randoms and competitive play. But let's take a look at it. But before we begin, if you can see value in the channel, thank you guys always for the support. Like, subscribe, bell button below, and leave a comment below to let your thoughts. I welcome any thoughts, good or bad. Hey, we're all about uh, making the community better and getting better as well. If I think I know it all, I'm, I'm wrong because we're always learning every single day. So let's take a look at the Lucian right off the bat we're getting spotted by these pesky cancer of the skies cva parcival which has got some wicked i think it was uh, advertised as having most wicked uh, rockets that can citadel cruisers and he's probably gonna get us spotted right there yep i left my aa off like uh you know a good destroyer player should do at the very last minute turn it on but he actually slams on the brakes and gets a torpedo launch on us right off the bat and we do a bad job of avoiding you can see how kind of how the speed of the in the turning of the Lucian is kind of uh not as enjoyable as other destroyers is not maneuverable it seems a little bit more sluggish but uh that is the maneuverability right there of the Lucians right there aa is not as great easier you can see we're not really doing much damage definitely other uh, destroyers have a better chance at that as well and right off the bat we are seeing the marceau getting spotted by our submarine and he is actually going on a death mission to try to get this submarine out of the game we, we go ahead and open up to see if we can kind of draw his fire and submarine is not spotting for us he's underwater again i don't like submarines for that reason where he can just go underwater and disappear from the map and also not get shot at as well if a destroyer pops a button for smoke at least there's a chance i could blind fire and hit the guy right so a little bit fair chance submarines are unfair in my personal opinion so whatever you know now look here, here's the downside i think of the lucian right here is just the the lack of HE damage, because I want, I mean, I can add out a hell of a reload rate. I mean, look, we're got 1.2 second reload rate. Maybe not the best. I mean, good speed and of the and the shell arcs are decent, but not the best in alpha damage. I mean, you're getting the hits, but it's just not producing the, the damage output I want. I don't know if it's because of the RNG, the way they built the ballistics, or perhaps, again, it is not as heavy hitting shells. I mean, I can look at the stats right here for you. The Lucian, the main battery, yeah, it, each shell is hitting about, uh, what is it? Main battery, 310 alpha damage, HE is 197. And then the uh, HE shells are really just doing, they're doing 950 meters per second. You see the speed of them is great. The arc is decent, but the damage, I mean, it's pinning 22 millimeters. And then of course you also got the damage of 1400. So not the heaviest hitting of shells. Um, how do I like them? I like the fact that I'm spitting on a bunch of them. I think that's what it's relying on back in the days of the good old Friesland and, uh, you know, kind of small and hauling kind of type of just two turret gunboats that are just dealing out so much fire and damage. And uh, that's exactly what it's doing. And here we go with a nice pesky uh, submarine action right here. And this is how you should hunt a submarine. Uh, now, the cool thing about this, look, we're already getting... Okay, I damage con. Now, he can keep pinging me. Even if I damage con, it's not fair because he can keep pinging me. And I have to wait 37 seconds. His ping just seems to be uh, very quick reloading and uh, unlimited. Uh, my damage con's unlimited, but I have to wait for the reload, and I got to use it for other things like fires and so forth. But again, I digress. Now, the cool thing about the... Um, I do have a Hydro, which is 5.5 kilometer ship detection, which is great. It's a little bit longer, but not as long as maybe a Z-52 or Z-42. However, 5.5 is decent. At least it's something, right? Now, we're going to see if we can get the Marceau out. He is way really busy on the death mission to try to kill this this submarine right here but look we're just dealing out a lot of, of uh firepower down range here and again we're only getting like these nice little 200 and 600 hits right there of 700 i'm actually surprised we're actually getting that much but those 200 ones it's something that man is it difficult to hit and kill something all right marceau goes down and there is the pesky submarine again my goodness uh this is getting okay now we're gonna just open fire on the ohio and just get some fires now the thing i do like about the lucian is the fire chance is for some reason incredible because even though the fire chance on the stats show five percent with the amount of shells you're dealing out at 197,000 he dpm you are starting a lot of fires um the the, the stats on it for the lucian i'm gonna see fire chance uh, let's see here he shells lucian how many fire yards are you gonna get per minute 7.1 fires a minute so, I mean, there are definitely a lot of other better ships out there starting fires, but man, it just seems like this thing loves starting fires. Okay, here we go. We got submarine hunting time, 22501. It is launching. He is probably preoccupied with these bigger, uh, nicer, sweeter looking ships than us, but then we pop our hydro and we definitely spot him. I think 
for the hydro is i think the standard is two kilometers to spot submarines and their deep water configuration if they're they dove deep and he's definitely within two he doesn't know where we're at kind of i think he can sense i don't know what his senses are i'm not a submarine player i think he can see the silhouette no but whatever he can't do anything about it because now with the new uh, buff and or i guess nerf uh submarines can't do anything within 2.9 kilometers the torpedoes don't do as much damage so as long as I'm within two, two point nine, he's not. He only can do ten percent shotgun torpedo. And look, we're dropping so many torpedoes, right? Our depth charges there, and we get our first kill. Splash one, he goes down, and that was our first kill. Twenty four thousand. The first oof, uh, about what eight minutes, um, or seven minutes that is, and uh, or six minutes. Bad math, but. The thing I like about the tor the depth charges is you're dropping 12 of them per, per salvo. So you got six on each side of the ship that you saw right there. It was a lot of depth charges. So the Lucian, very good at the depth charge arena. Maneuverability-wise, is it able to make it all the way in like that? Mm, we'll see. Now, while we're uh, playing around with this, Ohio, I'll read you a couple of things. Uh, kind of the story behind the Lucian. It was a dockyard event ship. Unfortunately, it's gone. Um, maybe this is the fear of missing out campaign that World Gaming likes to do. Get your money real quick. But... Maybe it'll come back in another year or so, whatever, when they do do another release. And uh, maybe the Lucian will come back if you haven't got it. If you if you missed out, I definitely say it is a good ship. And, you know, I have to say uh, I was, um, you know, when I did my video about the Destroyers, um, I'm not going to change my idea about it. I don't see many Lucians in clan battles, but some people say it's really good. And I, I love that. If you play really well with it, great. I applaud you more power to you i don't believe the ship is the key winning uh, aspect of the game in clans or competitive it's really about the teamwork right because the teamwork makes a dream work one ship doesn't just win the game every single time it's about how you position your ships and work together as a team but definitely lucian is up there i mean i didn't say it was overpowered or super or anything but i think it's a decent ship maybe average um because it does deal a lot of fire damage it does a little put down a lot of shells down range torpedoes are okay deep waters at 11 kilometers awesome that is some form of combat that you can see against these larger bulkier ships like battleships and cruisers however um it, and it will melt destroyers I, I will get i'll give you that but with the way the nature of clan battles and everything is people work together they're communicating they're using radar in conjunction with a lot of things uh lucian eh, it, it's not as far uh i mean i would say it, it is not as far reaching and more competitive style play that i've seen not many people are using it i don't see many people running them uh again uh, and even I've tried to make it work, and it's very, very difficult. Because, look, I mean, I'm shooting the Ohio here. We're only doing 231. You see that 231 taken up there? That is a long time to be trying to be hitting and killing somebody. Now, again, the fires help. I will, I'll give you that. But I w would I, you know, pick a ship like this over maybe a Marceau or Ragnar or, you know, maybe uh, a Daring? Well, probably not. I, I do like the, the other aspects of their ships, a little heavier, hard, harder, heavier hitting kind of uh, firepower. Now, the cool thing about the Lucian is the improved heal, but it ticks up very, very slowly. Now, you can heal the majority of the ship, maybe almost like a half to three quarters of it, but the heal does take a while to actually produce the effects. So if I did pop the heal right now, it literally ticks up about one to 200 health every maybe you know, a couple seconds. So it is a long drip, almost as if you're kind of playing arms race where you get that extra heal kind of is just slowly ticking up in the background. So very interesting there we're gonna keep melting away this uh ohio and just keep getting that damage now the downside you saw right there i knocked out one they knocked out one of my guns that's 50 percent damage reduction yeah so it's very you know very difficult to play with only two turrets but again man dude they spit out a lot of shells uh while we're gonna get attacked right here let's see if we can get this kill first of all uh we're only at 65,000 damage and boom splash two he goes down and that is our second kill right there Notice our health bar right there. That, I mean, we can keep getting hit, and look how much health we can recover. Now, look, I just hit, I popped the hill right there, and look how much health is recovering. You know, two, 150, you know, 150 at a time. Yeah, it's about 150-ish, uh, ish, around that kind of range at a time. <laughs> Every maybe a second or two, it's a little bit slower. Uh, let's talk about, and while we're shooting, oh, here's a Ragnar. Here's a great shot of us going up against a Ragnar right off the bat, and. No, I thought a lot of his 25 mm plating would have stopped a lot of these shells, but uh, a lot of them are actually kind of getting through on the upper belt there and actually making a lot of damage, so not bad. On the Ragnar and Splash 3, he goes down, and I think that if I, as long as I hit the upper portion of his uh, ship in the deck, that you do get those pins uh, on the Ragnar, but if you're shooting at the lower aspect of it, just like in the, the Elbing, there's a heavy plate armor right there. I believe it is 25 millimeters. 
does shatter a lot of those, um, you know, uh, smaller gun caliber shells. So as long as we're penetrating, according to these stats, 22 millimeters, so that is a good thing. Um, then at least we're doing some kind of damage. So Lucian actually does pretty decent. Yep, 22 uh, mil pin on the HE shells. So definitely okay there. Okay, now we're running away from the aircraft carrier. It's a time for me to read a couple things about the Lucian so you get an idea of what she is. Uh, again, tier 10 premium Pan Asian destroyer Lucian, uh, an experience that is sharp in contrast to your Tech Tree counterparts. The Tech Tree has smoke screens with average duration cooldown times, torpedo reload boosters, and below average firepower. However, Lucian is a heavily gun focused with a consumable kit that is focused on defensive play at the cost of torpedo power. Gameplay Lucian can be built as a frontline destroyer or a long range gunboat, depending on gameplay style. While she performs in the frontline, contesting and screening due to her excellent concealment is not her best role, as she has no way to hold the ground with no smoke, but has super maneuver. I'm oh, sorry, subpar maneuverability, and can easily easily be focused down by her ranges. You can see right here. Here comes the five-kilometer hydro right there, and it is popped. And we reveal the good old daring right there. And look, we're just using the front turret because the rate of reload on this thing is so awesome. We can just use the front turret and do decent amount of hits slowly. It's like small paper cuts at a time, but it does some significant damage. Now, bad on me for a broadside destroyer. I should have switched to AP. The AP is actually horrendous in this thing in the sense of it can melt destro uh, destroyers. I mean, the, the AP damage is incredible. If you want to look at it, uh, the filter says AP shells dealing over 2,200 damage. And uh, for every second you're coming out, 950 meters per second and it's of course threshold is 22 mil but the uh, fuse time is 0 0.01 seconds doing great time and uh it overmatches nine mil which most things aren't but that's my thought on the lucian sorry i didn't get to read much about the lucians itself if you want to read about it check it out on the wicca uh world world ships wiki and they say that basically the hydro the heavy repair teams make it really good uh, without compromising the firepower uh, you know, it, it allows you to mitigate a lot of the incoming threats with the heavy repair team's hydroacoustic search. It can be used heavily offensive uh, against the uh, Sierra destroyers that cannot out outgun her. When fighting destroyers with severe fires, it's important to lengthen the range of engagement. So basically, kite away and run away. So there's the build you can see right there, and uh, it's more for long range. But hope you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe, bell button below, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers.